Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So today we have another STMN versus Tribe finals. The last one, unfortunately, we did come short and took the L3-2 in the monthly finals. And that's obviously the main tournament. You know, I wish we won that one. But we did get our rematch today in the Brawl Masters North American final. Now, we won the first edition of Brawl Masters beating IX in the finals. Or not, not IX. Tribe in the finals and IX won the second Brawl Masters beating Tribe in the finals as well. So it's the third Brawl Masters now, us versus Tribe. Tribe making their third straight appearance in the finals. Us looking for our second Brawl Masters championship. So we have a best of five to show you guys. Let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what we got. So this is the second time that we face Tribe in this tournament. So there are four teams, us, IX, Tribe, and O.O, otherwise known as Toast Team that made the finals. Now there's a winner's bracket and a loser's bracket. So we've already faced Tribe one time. We faced in the finals of the winner's bracket. We defeated them 3-1, I think. I think it was, I think, yeah, it was 3-1. We lost Shooting Star somehow. I hate when we lose Shooting Star because we're so good at that map. But we lost Shooting Star, um, won the other three sets. Alec is playing instead of Tuni or Zar for a couple different reasons, but for whatever, you know, that I just want to say that, you know, Alec is in the game as he gets taken down by Tyrant. Um, so this is the second time we're playing them. The first time we did really well with Buzz. So they changed and they banned Buzz here. Before they banned Stu and Bell. Now they banned Stu and Buzz. So Bell is in play. And then we banned Gene. Even though we love Gene, we banned Gene because you got to do what you got to do sometimes. And then we banned Sprout, our typical ban. So this is the second time Alec is dying early on in the game. Um, at he did really good. The first time we played these guys in uh, Shooting Star, Alec did a fantastic job. This time, I think Tyrant just had enough. Tyrant is a phenomenal player, and sometimes when Tyrant turns on the Jets and says, you're not beating me, you're just not beating him. And that's the way, that's just how life goes sometimes. So he's doing a really good job. Can't really fault Alec too much. Um, Alec's just doing what he can. Corey has the blue star. I'm over here on the right side, kind of just chilling, trying to do my best. Unfortunately, though, Zulan does have his jump so i can't just two tap him you know with the gadget like i want to the nani misses head and alec is really close to his first head even though we're a minute and a half into the game he, you know should have one or maybe even two by now but he gets his first one over here and i think this is where we start to get a little bit of aggressive the ending actually gets really nice and close here he gets zulan's jump out zulan's just gonna jump straight up for whatever reason we're gonna be able to get the snipe over there on zulan and now we have to get two kills in order to take this win unless we get tyrant but there's no way we're getting tyrant so i get a curve on zulan but unfortunately things just don't work out for us and we take this game with an l and we lose seven to two all right so in the second game um i was thinking of maybe you know switching something up because we did really bad that first game uh but this is basically the meta here nothing beats it so we're going to go with this comp again. Uh, you could throw Brock in the mix, but I don't know if that's really the best play. I think Corey over here is trying to hit me one time with a tick mine so Zulan can just curve me and get a really easy start with the kill. But either way, they have some really good aggression. They're able to get the blue star really nicely, really well played by the other team. That's something we definitely got to look out for next time we play these guys on this map. Uh, was how easily they're able to get the blue star. It's something that we definitely got to look at and improve upon because the blue star obviously is so important. Alec goes down at a really unfortunate time because I get the two tap on my friend Zulan over there. Um, and But we're still losing because Alec went down. Again, Alex is trying to make a play, not his fault, but we're doing our best. Again, we're able to juke the Nani heads. I think... Sorry, I have to watch... Oops, I have to watch this back. Sorry, guys. I think Zulan just curveballed the wall. Let's see. Did he? Okay, he did. Zulan... Just whatever, bro. So he, he curveballs a wall over there. He's up pretty aggro, so I'm trying to get a kill, but he has really good positioning. He doesn't peek too much without me, you know, being like, he, he hits me if I peek. So I'm doing my best. Alec gets ahead. So right here, we're just kind of reliant on Alec's head to get a kill. He gets a really nice kill over there on Zulan. So now we're kind of up good. They have position right now, which is really our downfall here. We should definitely go up and try and get some positioning in this moment. But Zulan's going to come straight back. Even though it was a three on two, they maintain position. And I think Tyrant's close to head. I'm not too sure. Alec goes for an aggro play. He's going to get hit by Tick Mine, which is unfortunate because that's not what we want there. OG's going to throw his Tick thing out. Zulan's going to miss three shots. I say here, pinch Zulan because he's low. Um, don't receive the pinch, but it was, you know, a little bit of a weird position for my teammate, so it's understandable. OG's going to go down. Nice shot over there by Zulan. Zulan's going to try and get us. I don't remember if I go down. I almost hit that curve, but Zulan jumped far enough. 
and you know I'm just going for an absolute YOLO play right here but we're not gonna be able to get the win and for a second straight match like within an hour they beat us on shooting star and this is our favorite map this is the map that we picked both times to face them with so it's pretty unfortunate that we lost twice on shooting star but you know what happens, you know, props to them for beating us. Let's hop into the next map and let's keep it going. All right, so into Backyard Bowl here, there's a few different things we can go with. Again, this is the map we played them with. The map stayed the same the entire time. Just the order of them changed. So when we played this map, they ran this exact comp and we ran Primo, Buzz, and Byron twice. So it is definitely a hard counter, but Primo and Buzz are very hard to deal with. So we end up ended up winning both games now obviously they banned the buzz after we beat them the first time and did a lot of work with the buzz so they're gonna change and they're gonna go you know with the non or with the buzz ban and keep the same comp because again this comp is good into everything leon is in play which is what they beat us in if you guys watched us in the monthly finals leon is a really strong brawler but both of us elect not to go with leon not really too sure why things are so different but for whatever reason both of us decided leon was not to play this time around alec um i said i call out the slow zulon over here i get a nice curve on zulon which is gonna push us up a little bit unfortunately Corey does hit the tap over there which sucks because we're trying to get some pressure over here because with zulon down obviously it's a lot easier to get some pressure but we did our best i'm just gonna walk forward over here and break a wall Getting that wall broken is really important. I don't know if you guys watch Backyard Bowl or if you guys watch tri Twitch streams or just competitive brawl in general, but Backyard is just such a slow paced map. It's awful. Like it's so slow paced. I, you look at OG and Tyrant right now, hiding behind walls, maybe hitting one crow dagger, maybe hitting one spike curve. It's just not really that fun. So we're trying to break everything open, make the map open so it can be a little bit easier for us. Zolan has really good positioning over there on that right. Alec is going to get a double slow, kind of slow down the progression that they have up the map, which I think was actually a really good slow, even though overtime was kind of coming. Now, we are in a pretty bad spot here. We're pushed back. Luckily, OG is doing really well on this left lane versus Tyrant. He's going to push up really aggressive here, trying to make a play. We're going to try and pinch Corey. We're not going to be able to get it, but Corey is going to jump out. And now what this allows us to do is two-tap Corey because he now can't just jump away from a two-tap. So this is going to be our goal um walking up the map here now i don't know if i have any curves left i probably don't because i would have curved Corey there but you know it's a stalemate right now it's backyard bull that's how it goes i don't know how i've talked for two and a half minutes over this game because realistically there's been like three kills but somehow i've talked for two and a half minutes over this alec has curl jump okay i do have a curve so i kill Corey. this is going to get us some possession here me and alec I get, I think, a tap on Zulon here. Now, me and Alec have a little bit of a disagreement. He says ball, I say jump. He says ball, I say jump. He jumps. I super the ball forward. He doesn't have a shot there, and he goes down. Very unfortunate. I think OG also goes down to Zulon over here. Wow, Zulon is just such a good player. I mean, Zulon, if you're watching this, bro, you're just so good. I mean, unbelievable talent of a player. But, um, yeah. <laughs> you know, we're just chilling over here. Um... And I'm on the spike. Corey is on our spike. I don't think our spike is having much fun. And I was tapping. I was really feeling myself on the piper today. So I said, okay, I'll take Corey. Corey, I think, overextends over here to try and get Alec because he was one shot. I get the snipe on Corey. I walk up. Guys, this was a pretty good play. I thread the needle. Snipe Tyrant. And we were able to get the win in the first game of brawl ball now this is a pretty big one because we don't really like this map um i personally just don't really like watching it playing it is a little bit of a different story i don't really mind playing it it's just it's just not a map i'm really a fan of or enjoy too much but this is going to give us the one nothing lead on the map so let's hop into the next game and show you guys what happened okay so going into the second game there were three options either you stay the same comp either you counter with the mr p or you go to a primo comp thinking the other team is going to go mr p and trying to counter with primo now, I said, I just want to make this very clear. I said they're going to go Mr. P. Do you guys not remember what happened four days ago or five days ago or whatever it was? Let's go Primo. I said that. I'd get some vouchers. I said that. But uh, we decided to stay with the same comp. Um, Mr. P honestly doesn't counter this too much. Um, it's not the most fun brawler to play into necessarily, but it... 
I don't know. It's it's a little bit weird. Zolan tries to get the gadget kill on me, but he auto aims and hits OG instead. I mean, I've been there, you know, been there, done that. It's whatever. Zulan jumps back. He was hit. We get the kill on Zulan right there. Me and Alec both kind of whiffing here on Cory, but Cory is eventually going to go down. So here we have a 3v1. Tyrant's the only one left. I'm able to get a hit, so Tyrant's forced to retreat, and this is our opening to try and get a goal. Get a shot over there on Zulan. Jump up. Two people low. Cory trapped in the net. We're trying to make a play here. I push the ball forward. Cory gets a nice save. Alec again in front of the net. Not able to get the kill, but OG hits a spike shot. And this is going to give us the first goal of the game with a minute 15 left. But now they have their Mr. P border. And now they're going to switch lanes. So now this Crow is eventually going to win lane slowly because the Crow has to hit, or our Crow, excuse me, has to hit a Porter and the opposing Crow. Good thing Alec is a one-trick Crow because he just completely outplayed Tyrant over there. Unfortunately, Mr. P Porter, you know, kind of gets the revenge for Tyrant. But... You know, we're looking pretty good right here. We're able to get one shot on Zulon, hit him with the curve, and then get another two shots over there on Cory. I know I'm a great piper. You guys don't need to tell me. Um, but, um, you know, that, that got us a lot of positioning right there. Don't really know how Alec gets the kill over here. Oh, that's how Alec gets the kill. Okay, that makes more sense now. 30 seconds left. All we got to do is hold. We get one shot over there on Zulon. Almost get the second. He's going to juke it, though, unfortunately. Hit the two-tap on Cory, and then check that push because you know maybe we can get some style points killing Zulan as well if I was really cool and really good at this game I would have jumped over their wall and put the ball in their net but I was content with just winning the set so I get one shot over there on Cory. at this point we're just trying to survive OG's gonna throw his spike super onto the ball Tyron's gonna jump in try and make a play Alec gets the save he's very tempted to jump in I can tell but he has to be the goalie for today and we're going to be able to take this set. And it evens up the score at 1-1. One to one. Now, the next set is nuts and bolts. This was kind of a wild set. I'm going to be honest. So, let's hop into it. I'm going to show you guys what happened. This was pretty crazy. So, let's get into it. Show you guys what's up. So, going into the first game over here, Sandy and Primo have been pretty prominent on this map. So, both teams are going to go with that. And we were deciding between a bunch of different brawlers. But we ended up going with Mortis. Because the third brawler outside of Sandy and Primo, we felt like Mortis would have done really well into. Um, I don't know how I got this bull. I kind of just stood on it and then dashed away. So we're able to get this one. And I think Alec can test that. Oh, never mind. OG hits a good shot to get us this first bot. The first bot's really important. But they're going to be able to have four total bolts going into the next siege. So this is kind of scary. I'm going to pop my gadget here because Cory gets a little bit too aggressive on us. And we're going to be able to get that kill. I'm really tempted here. To go in and make a dive but Zulan gets me to 10 HP I feel like I'm very rarely at 10 HP so that was a pretty cool number to see but um, we're gonna try and move in over here I'm looking to get a play so I get the bats over there unfortunately we get like double stun and I'm kind of just walking around being useless right now to be honest I'm trying to do the best I can but I don't really know I'm being kind of silly right now on the mortis um, tyrant with not necessarily a throw but don't ask me what he was doing there. He kind of just jumped into our Ike. Our goal here is to try and just get a couple more bolts into the next round. And then also get a Sandy Super for the next round. So Alec is going to jump in. Um, he's going to try and make a play. We have two bolts. I think they have one bolt. Yeah, okay. So we have a one bolt advantage. We have Sandy Super. Now we have to be very aware of the all-in here. This is what we don't want. We don't want to get all-in. Luckily though, I was able to kind of contest them for a good amount of time. They were a little bit scared of the Mortis team wiping their DPS. So they played it pretty passive and they decided to hold. So whoever gets this bot obviously wins the game. We got supers. The stun's going to go up by OG. Alex going to jump up, get a really nice kill. Only Tyrant left alive. He's going to try and make a play. And honestly, Tyrant is putting on a show right now. Almost 3v1s, but he's going to take out me, Alec. But OG is going to be left standing, you know, passive OG being passive but it works out here you know it was a very he's not even being passive it's just a meme he played it right good job og i'm not roasting you or anything so we only need to get eight percent over here um Zulan's gonna get a mark on the bot they're gonna go at it early um i'm trying to make a play unfortunately not able really to do much but og has a sandy super it's gonna give us some additional healing we're gonna be able to take out Corey. They're going to take out the bot really well, but unfortunately, it was not enough. And we're going to be able to take the first game of Siege and get up in the set one to nothing. All right, so here we go into the next game. So for this game, we elected to go with Barley. Now, the reason we went with Barley, don't ask me. We, we just did. I mean, theoretically, Barley should be pretty good. 
There are no throwers, so Barley can kind of do whatever it wants. We have the damage gadget and the slow, so we're actually looking pretty good. Plus, I think we get the first spot. Maybe do we get the first spot? I don't know. Ah, uh, we don't get the first spot. Okay, but we tie it. So we're in a decent spot. So our thought process with Barley was we should be able to hold lanes fairly well, but it sh Barley should have a pretty easy time, theoretically. Now, we're, we're one shot here. I don't know why I'm still going aggressive, but we're able to get two cheeky shots over there on Corey. Alex going to jump in, not going to be able to get a kill, and they have the damage Sandy, so unfortunately, it's a little bit weird. I have to use my Sandy Super, or sorry, Sandy Gadget here to make sure I stay alive. And we're kind of just looking for second bolt over here, or second bot, sorry, over here. That's our goal. Alec uh, is going to be able to get the kill, and I think maybe I kill Zulan. Yeah, I'm able to kill Zulan as well, so we actually think we're in a perfect spot right here. He's got to defend one bot. We're looking pretty good. I mean, I'm marked, which sucks, but I just need to get a Sandy Super. That's my goal right now. So I'm going to walk up. You know, Alex is going to go for a play. I don't remember if he gets a kill here. I don't think he does. He doesn't, but I think... No, I don't kill Corey. I was one shot from killing Corey. But this, like... I mean, we got the slow gadget. We got it. We got. We have everything we, we asked for. I have my Sandy Super. This is it. We have 10 bolts. I'm like, all right, we're perfectly fine for this game. And then we get one pushed. And that sucks because we were looking so good. I mean, we were we were actually looking so good. We were up nine bolts. We had the last bot. We had the barley. That was an easy one push for us. All we had to do was defend. But we have no defensive brawler. So we're kind of done. We're never going to go with barley again in that situation. But put like a meme on the screen. I'll find a meme. I'll send you a meme. I generally, generally, um, am the same off stream, except, you know, streaming is stimulating. Does that make sense? I don't know why I'm still talking, so let's just get into the third game and let's show you guys what happened. So going into the third game, we have elected to go with Spike. Two reasons we go with Spike. One, it's good into Sandy and Primo, and that is the constant. Both teams are always going to be running Sandy and Primo. Two, it is good at defense. Right here, I'm able to finesse maybe the bolt. I wasn't able to finesse the bolt. I lied, but I was able to get the bolt to Alec, which is good enough. Alec has his super now. He's marked, which kind of sucks. Being marked is not, you know, a fun feeling, but it happens. Now here, I'm trying to be really passive because I don't want to give Corey his super. Um, and Corey obviously is being aggressive because Corey's like, I want my super. Give me my super for retake, but we're, you know what? We're not giving Corey a super. I'm sorry, Corey, you're not getting your super. And somehow I got my super and Corey didn't get his super. So we're gonna throw this on the ground right here. Um, Alex gonna walk up, he's gonna hit a trap. I don't know why they have two traps literally in their spawn, but they do, very weird placement by Zulan. But Alex gonna jump in, he's gonna be able to pick off one. We're gonna stay up right here. Zulan's gonna go to 300 HP, we can't get the kill. OG doing a pretty good job on that side. He's gonna stay up. Um, and we're actually doing a great job holding right now. A really fantastic job holding, doing our job. Um, I got my Sandy Super. I'm just going to throw it out because I see Tyrant is walking towards me. And when you see a Primo walking towards you, you're just like, ah, look at that. That's free supercharge. I'm, I'm already two shots off my Super. One shot now off my Super. Like, we are up good. I'm going to have my Super in one shot. We just got to hold. We're only down three. We have position, but they do have Sandy Super. So all we got to do is hold and we win the game. We're actually up pretty good. So, you know, they're going to try their best. They're going to move up. I'm able to get my Sandy Super. I throw that down. Alec gets done. He's going to jump in. He gets two hits with his jump, but he's not able to capitalize and get a kill. And now this is getting really close right now. Tyron's going to go in one tile forward, and that's our bolt. But it's his bolt for today. Corey's going to move up. He's going to stay alive. Alex's going to go for an absolute YOLO. He's going to waste a super go down. Um, and OG is going to try his best to cash it in. But unfortunately, it's not going to happen. But we kill Zulan, which is really good. And on top of that, we kill Corey, which is really good. And oh, wait, we have a spike, which is really good at defense. So what's the spike going to do? It's going to defend. Now they're weaving everything they got. We're trying to body block. We're body blocking the Zulan shots. He's trying to shoot. Body block. Corey comes in. We can't body block Corey, but we win by 3%. And we take this set, and it is now going to be 2-1 in sets for us. This was a really big moment because, you know, 
being up to one is a lot different than being down to one. If you're up to one, you win a set, oh, you win. If you're down to one, you lose a set, you lose. So, you know, you have a lot more comfort, you have a lot more area to, to kind of take risks and try and just end the game by out comping or something like that in the next set because you have a set essentially to play with. So, let's go into the fourth set and show you guys what happened. So, going into this set, Alec is going to be subbed out for the first time today for Zar. Now, the reason we subbed out Alec for Zar has literally nothing to do with Alec. When we played this map earlier, and we won, by the way, against Tribe, Alec was playing Piper, OG was playing Cole, and I was playing Rico. But I went 2-0 or something on lane with Zulan, even though he did have constant pressure and shooting. On Backyard, I absolutely ripped into them on the Piper. So I was like, you know what? I am going to be Piper for it today. Um, I'm sorry, Alec, but please play Rico. And then Alec goes, well, I can't play Rico. And then Zar, you know, he's been sitting in the in the voice chat for like five hours, kind of just minding his own business, vibing, doing his thing, relaxing, you know, seeing that he's going to get some free money uh, because we're coming first or second. So he's like, you know, I can play Rico too. So, <laughs> so Zar's going to come in and he's going to play Rico. Um, pretty even game. They have the max Amber, which is a little bit weird. Now, the reason they have the max Amber is because there is a Poco... BB and Max Comp that has recently come into the meta to counter the range. And we, you know, everyone has different comps to counter it. Tribe really likes going Amber into that. Zara, might, let me just say, for someone who wasn't playing at all the entire day and then having to go up against Tyrant Star, one of, and some people argue, the best player in North America on lane, it is pretty hard, but Zar is holding his own really nicely. We're going to go down over there, but Zar is going to stay up, and he's going to get his, a decent amount of damage. Kind of whiffs his super over there, but YOLO, you know, things happen. He's not as warmed up, but he took the pressure of Tyrant and, and Zulan off our backs, and that helped a lot. Corey's going to move up. I'm going to hit Corey with the curve. He's going to go down. Two-tap Zulan over there. So now it's 3v1. We got the Colt walking up. Colt's going to do some damage. You guys see it went from 69 nice. to 59, so we got 10% right there. And now we don't really have a comfortable lead. <sighs> I gotta turn my phone notifications off, but we have a fairly decent lead. One kill can kind of just seal the deal for us right now. Corey's just chilling in his fire. He's trying to do some stuff. Zara's trying to do some stuff. I'm trying to do some stuff. Everyone's trying to do some stuff. I walk up, I get one shot. OG, it's a full clip over there on Corey, and that basically seals the deal. Tyrant trying to go aggro. OG, I don't know what's with what was with OG today, but OG was one of the best Colts today that I have ever seen. He was just absolutely lasering, going crazy. And we're going to take this first game in the fourth and possible winning set. And OG on that skin, which I heard a lot of people in Latam, they don't like the skin. It's like the most hated team in Latam for, or whatever. I don't know. I'm not very educated on that, but... I don't even know what this has to do with anything. You get star player, we win the game. Let's show you guys the next game and show you guys what happened. So going into the next game, Coach26 suggests that we go this comp up with a variation of Primo instead of BB. And we elect to do so. And just, you know, out of coincidence, Tribe also goes with the meta comp. Now what's good here is Primo counters BB. But what counters, the main part of the counter is kind of the Primo toss. And unfortunately, and I never use the Meteor. I actually, Never, ever, ever use the Meteor. But I'm like, why would I have to throw a Piper? Why would I have to throw a Rico? So I went with the Meteor, and of course... <sighs> I mean, this is just awful. Like, how does it... Like, I don't understand how this stuff works out, but this is what happened. Anyways, OG and, you know, Corey are kind of just going at it. Tyrant gets a little bit too close to me, so we're going to be able to get a really easy kill over there. Zar comes back, and even though they had, you know, that constant pressure, they're only up by 13%, which in these comps isn't really the biggest lead in the world. So now we have position, they have super, we get our super. Tyrant, I'm waiting for him to do something, he doesn't do anything. I jump on the safe, I completely waste my jump, but I meteor the safe, which apparently does 5%. I didn't know it does that much, it's pretty good. Um, but OG and Zar doing a really good job um, on the top. I get in distance over there. We did, we were going to leave Zulan, but then we elect not to leave Zulan. But I think Zulan was going to follow us anyway, so I don't really know what's happening. Again, I jump on Corey. I get the 5% Meteor on the... 4%? Alright, I guess it's 4.5 or something. But we're down right now anyways. It's not looking too good, but I think this was the turning point right over here. Was when, Cor when Tyrant, you guys are going to see... He misses his swing, and I have max speed, so what does this allow? I just walk up, I get Poco uh, healed but by my teammate, 
and then I'm just gonna jump on the safe and we're just wailing away. We're doing as much as we can. OG's gonna be able to get a Poco heal. He's gonna heal us. We're shooting the safe. We got the Pierce damage and that is going to be game set and match for STMN and we're gonna be able to be the Brawl Masters champion for the third edition in NA. So we have won two out of the three times, which is pretty cool. Tribe, and I'm not saying this to roast Tribe, you know, I'm pretty close friends with Zulon. Pretty cool with Corey Tarn, I don't really talk to, but I've, you know, huge respect for the guys. He's a really good player. But they have lost all three times in the finals. Like, feels bad, bro. Like, this actually does feel quite bad. But they've also won everything else for the last year. So, you know what? I take that back. doesn't feel bad at all. But this is going to be a win for us, which is really awesome. We took home, I think, 2,000, maybe 2,500. I don't really know. There's a lot of money given out in the qualifiers that we also got. So, this is a really good uh, match. It was a really good tournament. We 3 0 IX, won 3 1 against Tribe the first time, and 3 1 the second time. So, we played really well. Shouts to everyone that played, um, Alec especially for just coming in. I messaged him like 20 minutes before the game telling him he was playing, so he did a, a fantastic job. But GG's to them, or GG's to Alec, I mean GG's to IX, GG's to Tribe, GG's to everyone, but that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, thumbs up, sub, like, all that. We'll be back soon with some normal videos. I'm just kind of waiting for, you know, Brawl Stars update to come, which is coming. I assuming when the brawl pass ends which is in a little bit less than two weeks power league is going to be reset in two weeks there's a lot coming up anyways it's going to be it i already said everything i had to i will see you guys again soon peace